Hello ladies and wrestling, hello everyone, thank you all for coming back and tuning in to another episode here of the talk show guys. Guys, make sure you guys please subscribe to my show for all your exclusive wrestling content and W2K60 news. Now the article is in the description for you. Breaking news guys, Layla, WWE Diva Layla has retired from professional wrestling. Now it's from ringsidenews.com. The article is in the description for you, and it's from WWE.com. So both articles are in the description for you guys. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and please thumbs us up if you if you like today's episode. Now, Layla, who has been absent from WWE television, announced in a WWE.com interview that she has retired from professional wrestling. Here's a quote for from her from the interview. She said. Layla says, I feel like deciding to retire from the ring has been a hard decision to be hard to make. I'm, a pa I'm passionate and I love performing. I've known everybody in that company now for nine years. Their, their, their family, their family. I spend more time with the crew and superstars and divas on the roster than I did with anybody else. It's become part of your life. Not only that, it's hard walking away from the fans. Part of me feels like a little bit guilty. Layla, you have nothing to be guilty about, girl. Let me tell you, you have nothing to be guilty about. You've done a lot for us, and we support you. We love you. You're beautiful. You're sexy. You're everything. You have everything. You're and you're a good, you're a good diva. You're a good woman wrestler in that ring, and I supported you for years, and I always loved you. Because of the WWE fans, because the fans are 100% loyal and have supported me since 2006. I wouldn't have this job if the fans didn't vote for me in, D in the Diva search. That, I remember she was at, I think she was at No Way Out, I think, too. Um, she was in the Diva search. I remember that, man. I was picking her because I was like, this girl's awesome. She's cool. She's wild. She's fun. And I can't wait to, for her to be a champion in the, um, in the coming years. Now I wanna okay. I was able to win that competition because of them and I was blessed. But sometimes you just need to step out and take a risk and move on to the next phase in life. She continued, I've been traveling the world for nine years and now sometimes it just it's just time to start the next chapter of your life. Traveling on the road was fun, but the older you get it takes it takes more time to recovery, which that is true. I just got tired of the travel part. Wow. You know, I, I feel bad for it. You know, I mean, Kaylin did the same thing. I mean, all these girls are going through it, you know. I love Layla. You know, Layla was cool, man. I really enjoyed her when she was in WWE. I thought, you know, she was a good WWE um, champion at the time, too. Um... She was with the uh, um, Diva Expose with Brooke, um, Kelly, Kelly, and Layla. Out of those three girls, Layla was my favorite, man. I fell in love with Layla. I fell in love with her when she first debuted when she was in WWE, man. I love this girl. This girl was cool, man. And I was excited for her. Um, she had, uh, I remember she had, she made fun of Mickey James one time, Layla, with the big, she came out like she was fat and stuff. She made fun of Layla. Um, like I said, she was a good champion. She was with the expose thing. She was with Michelle McCool, the, the, Layla, the Layla and Michelle McCool thing. That thing was crazy, man, let me tell you. But Layla, man, you know, she was with Fandango, too. Um, Layla is a good professional woman athlete. Let me tell you, man, I fell in love with her, like I said. And I wish her the best luck in her career, man, whatever she wants to do. And, like, it is hard, you know, when you're in the WWE and you get older, it does take time for your body to recover from things, you know. So, she didn't, you know, and the fans, yes, we always loved her, okay. I always did. I fell in, like I said, I fell in love with her, you know. And i like to know what she's going to do in her career, you know, not being in WWE no more, you know. She's done, like I said, she's done a lot for that company. She's done, a, um, she, I'm just telling you the stuff that I remember in her, in her, in her career, man. Um, 2006, she was cool in 2006. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I feel I'm not mad at her that she's leaving. You know, she did a lot for the company. Um, she was a good wrestler, man. I liked her. I think she was talented. Um, she was good in the mic. And she was very, she was enthusiastic, man. Like, she loved it, man. I loved her music, her entrance, man. She was funny. 
She had to add the whole package, man. Layla had the whole package. And let's see where she goes in her career, man. I mean, I don't know. Let's see what she's going to do, you know. But your comments, your opinions, and guys, how do you feel about this, that, you know, Layla has retired from the WWE. Like, you know, she doesn't want to do it no more, you know. And the fans, we always supported her, man, since 06. I always supported her. I never gave up on the girl. You know, I always wanted Layla to become something, you know, because I saw something in her. You know, when she came to WWE, you know, and I'm happy she won the Diva Search. She, de she deserved it, in my opinion, you know. And, I don't know, guys, but your comments, your opinions, I mean, you know, I support Layla and anything she wants to do in her career now. And let's see what she's going to do now, you know. And do you guys think, now, this is not my opinion, but I got a question for you guys. Does Layla deserve to go in the WWE Hall of Fame? That question is for you today, guys. Until then, thank you all for tuning in and viewing today's episode, guys. Like me on Facebook, guys. My fan page, guys. The link will be in the description for you. Click on the link, and it'll send you straight to my fan page, guys. Thank you all for tuning in and viewing in the show, guys. And subscribe.